Hello Scorpios, this is you versus them for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming up to check me out. All right, let's see. Scorpios, past issues with this connection. King of Swords. Hmm. I'm feeling like somebody here, you guys felt like, you know, there was not a lot of emotional exchange in this um, connection with this individual. This person may have come across uh, kind of cold, aloof, um, maybe felt like they were sitting on their high horse even, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Hmm. Let's see. <coughs> uh oh. Okay. A lot going on right there. This person's issues. Hmm. Four of Wands. They weren't happy. They didn't feel like. Um, this was something that could, you know, evolve into something significant. They didn't feel like it was stable, grounded. Okay. What's keeping Scorpio from this individual? The Page of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like this person lacks the maturity that you guys are seeking or this person um, is doing other things interested in other things maybe this person is going back to school or has gone off to school hmm. what's keeping this person from Scorpio what's keeping this person from Scorpio Queen of Wands. Hmm. Aries Leo energy here. I'm feeling like this person um, does not want to be. This person may have moved for one thing, but I'm, I'm getting that this person is not really interested in in being in this connection to be honest with you guys they're in search of something new a new adventure starting over they're looking for some excitement as well um, this person wants to travel they want to get out um, they they want to do things here very active energy I feel what's currently going on for Scorpio What's currently going on for Scorpio? Two of Wands. Hmm. Trying to figure out what to do at this point. You guys are trying to figure out what to do. Let me see if I can adjust this camera because. <clears throat> Let's see. Hang on, guys. I think that's probably better. If I go too far back, then I'm not going to be able to get the other cards in view. Let's see if that's better. Okay. Yeah, you guys are just trying to decide, you know, where you go from here, I feel. Um, hmm. What's currently going on for the other person? The Ten of Cups. This person's happy. This person is happy. What they're doing remains to be seen. But for the most part, this person is, is doing things that make them happy. I feel like um, this person's good like being by themselves right now. Okay. 
I feel like this may be a single parent. They this person probably has adult children. They're a fairly young parent though, I feel, with adult children. Okay. I feel like everything is good in the home sector with them. And I feel that you guys are currently trying to figure out, you know, how to get back here, to be honest with you. You're trying to figure out how to get back home is what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys. Hmm. What's influencing Virgo? What's influencing Virgo? The Seven of Cups. Again, I'm feeling that confusion. I'm feeling like you guys just don't know, you know, how to feel, how to handle this situation. You feel like this person also has options. Hmm. And you feel, I mean, this person, you see them as a very attractive, um, very emotional person. You feel like they're happy. Um, but maybe in the past, you know, they exhibited a lot of masculine energy. And now you see them as more alluring and more active, um, more appealing. I don't think they, in the past, they were that appealing, to be honest with you. Right now, I think you're viewing them through rose-colored lenses at the moment. <clears throat> What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? The star. This person is looking for the one. Honestly, um, I'm getting to that they are trying to attain a certain status here. They're trying to attain a certain status. I feel that this person may be in the limelight. They may have a lot of onlookers. They may um, be involved, you know, not with a lot of people intimately, but I feel like they interact with um, people. They're in the public eye. Okay. I feel like this person has some he some healing energy. Um, strong Aries, Pisces, Aquarius energy here. People like to be around this individual. Most definitely. Most definitely Aries there too. Aquarius. Let's see. What's coming in for Scorpio? Two of Pentacles. Again, having to decide what to do. You have a lot on your plate, I feel. There's a lot that you're not sure about. You're not sure about what to do. You're not sure about how to do it. And you're not sure how you feel about it at all. Okay. Hmm. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? The High Priestess. Hmm. Following their heart. This person's on a path. Um, on a, I feel like a very spiritual path. This person's doing what they feel that they should be doing right now, whatever that means, okay? And I feel like a lot of it involves um, their family, um, their children. So a lot of things this person knows that they don't speak of. You guys probably have not spoken in a while. There's, there's a lot that you don't know. But this person is definitely following their intuition, following their heart. What advice do we have for Scorpio? The Will of Fortune. This is all about karma and change. All about karma and change. Hmm. 
there's something I feel that you guys need to really look at. There's something that you really need to look at here. And I'm trying to see that. But this is all about change. This is Jupiter. This is the husband card. This is Sagittarius, Piscean energy here. This is all about movement and change. Depending on what you do, what you decide here, Depending on what you decide, things can be very successful for you in this situation. So there's a need, I feel, for you guys to figure out exactly what you want, which I think you know here with the Two of Wands. I'm feeling like you guys want to come home. If there is an apology you feel like you need to make, or if there's something that you feel like you need to say, um, something that you need to open up about. I feel like um, the advice would be for you to make it happen here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Because the Wheel of Fortune is not always about um, a success story, honestly. It's, you know, it, it spins out karma. Whatever you put into it is what you get out of it. Okay. Let's see. What's that vice for the other person? The Eight of Swords. To release themselves from whatever has been restricting them. Because what I'm getting here is that... This person has been very hurt. Very, you know, trapped you know, and worry at certain points in time. Maybe not um, being able to distinguish exactly, you know, what their path was. Okay. The advice would be to free yourself from this thinking, this overthinking, um, this being trapped in the past, past issues, and use truly use their intuition to 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 see and feel, um, you know, what they need to do here. What is actually their destiny? Hmm. Let's see what's coming after the Wheel of Fortune. What is the outcome for Scorpio? What is the outcome for Scorpio? What is the outcome for Scorpio? The Ten of Wands. That's carrying a lot. Carrying a lot on your shoulders. I'm feeling like most of the mental anguish is really coming from you guys, honestly wanting to start over I feel want to start over but not knowing exactly what you want not manifesting what you want because you have to know what you want in order to be able to manifest it into existence so there's a lot of uncertainty on the table. What do you want? Do you want to continue here? Do you want to start over? What do you think will be successful? How do you think you can attain it? Okay. What's the outcome for them? The other person. What's the outcome for the other person? The Hierophant. This person is definitely, I feel like, is a teacher. I feel like this person knows exactly what they want out of life. And I don't think they um, are somebody that will accept anything less than what they feel like they truly deserve. Okay? 
definitely. They're going to stand their ground. This person has boundaries. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, the Eight of Swords energy comes from them actually not really knowing if, you know, this hierophant energy of standing your ground, standing, you know, by your morals and what you believe, if there's somebody else out there that will match what it is that they actually um, need and want in their life. Okay, so we have Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, um, Leo, I feel, Sagittarius energy is here, Capricorn is here, okay, could be Libra as well. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you guys soon.